that garage. I have to admit, everything that I'm about to tell you is self-inflicted. <laughs> My wife has been driving a Prius for about seven years. I uh, bought it in 2012. It has been a unbelievably great car. It's a Prius C. It's the smallest one. It gets 55 miles per gallon. Uh, when I drive it, when she drives, she's got a heavy foot. She gets still 40, 45 uh, on a good day. <laughs> It has been flawless. It's never had anything have to be done to it. Uh, it's had a couple factory things that they did to it that were under warranty. Uh, but other than that, just oil changes for 49,000 miles. So it's been a spectacular car. And there was nothing wrong with her driving it. It was a great car. There was She could keep driving that for probably 10 more years. I don't know. Now, my problem was that I decided that the Prius would make a good service car. This is the first thing I thought for my locksmith business. I thought, well, I could take that, paint it white, put decals on it and use it. Saves some money on gas. The problem is people that work for you don't really give a crap about the vehicle. Even though it's a great car, push button start, all, all kinds of stuff on it, uh, beautiful shape, they would rawhide the crap out of it and then by the end of it I would have just a crappy car. And I'll show you a video of what the result of having a, a car that you give to an employee here uh, in the next future video. However, we'll go back to the story. Right, so Prius given to an employee is out. Now, I've done work at Lexus of Nashville for many, many years. I repair keys, I reflash computers. Uh, I've gotten a relationship with them and know what kind of people they are, and I trust them because, you know what, I've seen on the back end, on the back side, the, the underbelly of the dealership, how they really do take care of customers. With minor complaints, I've had to go out and rekey someone's house because they lost a house key off of a ring of keys. And, I mean, every time something's come up, Lexus of Nashville has taken care of the customer, right? Without question. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I have a lot of respect for this dealership, unlike Nissan or Cool Springs, which I have zero respect for. Terrible dealership. So anyway, when I started looking for cars, Infinity and Nissan was out. So I was out here at Lexus the other day doing a computer or fixing a key, I can't remember what I was doing, and I went over and I saw a car on their lot, and it was a brand new model called a UX, and I said, wow, that's pretty sharp looking. Not too big, it's good size, uh, a little bit bigger, uh, it said an H on it, so I was like, okay, there's a hybrid, and we've had such good luck with the Prius hybrid, Toyota has that technology, I mean, down pat. I, I went to my buddy Ben, who's an assistant service manager, I said, hey, if I'm gonna go look at cars or talk to somebody about a car, who do I need to talk to? Because I don't want some jack leg salesman uh, talking to me, and he goes, you know what, you need to talk to Terry Milam over here at uh, in the front. He's been here for like 23, 22, whatever years. He's been he's been here the longest and he is like really great to work with. And I said, all right. So I walked through the dreaded back doors up to the front sales office and I said, is Terry here? And they said, hang on, let me get him. So he comes up and he's just super nice guy. I mean, absolutely awesome. And I tell him the story. I'm thinking about buying a car. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. Maybe six, eight months. I got a Prius, it's in great shape. Uh, I was looking at this UX, it's pretty cool, and he goes, hey, yeah, man, that's awesome. He goes, you want to drive it? I was like, yeah, sure, we'll drive it. So for 2019, Lexus came out with the UX series of vehicles, and this is the one he got the keys to. It's a red jewel with the camel tan interior. Well, I don't, I know I wouldn't want red. Um, the, the sticker on this one is 38718, which I didn't think was too bad. I'm six foot four and wanted to make sure that I could fit in the stinking thing. It is bigger than our Prius for sure, but you never know, and uh, I really love the car. It was awesome. The red, I could do without. I don't like the red. I knew Jennifer wouldn't like the red, so that was it. We got back to the sales office, and I knew I had to make a decision quickly because Terry said, you know, we only got a few of these. You can only get special financing for, you know, today only. That's the only time you can buy this car. No, he didn't. He didn't do that at all. He was super cool. Man. <laughs> he said, hey, whenever you're ready, you let me know. I'll work up some numbers. He goes, no, no problem at all, man. I appreciate meeting you. And just, you know, and that was it. And I said, okay, I'll get back with you. He gave me his card. That was it. No pressure, no nothing. It was awesome. So now here is where I actually made my biggest mistake. <laughs> I went home and I told Jennifer, I said, hey, you know what? I was talking to them up at Lexus and they got this new model. It's really pretty. What do you think the next thing she said was, Hey, well, you think we could go look at them? <laughs> so this is it. Lexus of Nashville been doing work here for many years. So we came up here to the dealership and looked around. They were closed, so that just gave us the time to kind of peruse the vehicles. And I showed her the red one. She goes, oh, I love it, which I knew she would. I mean, it's not, I mean, hello. 
and uh, we looked at the UH 200s and the 200 H's and she said well this one's less money and I was just like yeah but I want a hybrid because that was really the whole purpose of looking at the, the Lexus is at all because I love the Toyota technology, right? The hybrid technology on Toyotas is spot on, man. It's awesome. So I'll show you some of the cars that we looked at before we ended up uh, looking at the one we got. So when we were walking around, Jennifer looked at this LC500 and thought it'd be funny take a picture and send it to our kids and say, look at the car I bought. <laughs> this one's got a sticker price of $101,000, but it is a beautiful car, let me tell you. We saw this one. This is a UH 200. It's got the same motor, but this is not a hybrid, and it runs 36718s, about two thousand dollars less. This one had the white interior, and she says, "Oh, I like that." And I was like, "Ugh, I hate that." Man, I'm standing right by the interstate. This is the NX. It's its bigger brother. These run about forty-four thousand. They had a black one, a UXF Sport which still has the same motor and everything. I think they tuned the suspension a little differently, a little different interior, and it's right at 40 grand. So Jennifer absolutely loved the car for sure. You know, she hadn't driven it, but she loved the look of it. And uh, I came back over here a couple days later to do some work, and uh, Terry was here, and I said, hey man, what do you give me for my used Prius? And he says, you're not gonna be happy with it, but I'll get your price on it, let you know, and I told him all the information. And, and he says, you're probably gonna do better selling it outright than trying to trade it in. He said, uh, just because we're not going to be able to give you as much as you can sell it, especially with that little miles. He was really honest about it. And I said, okay. I said, but let me know. So he calls me back. He tells me. I was just like, yeah, it is pretty low. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I would sell it outright if you're going to if you're going to do anything. So then he looked at me and he goes, okay. So what? Which one are you looking for on the UXs? Which which one do you look for? I said, I said I want a white pearl with that saddle brown interior because I think that's sharp looking, and I can convince Jennifer to like it. <laughs> He goes, you know what? We just got one in. I was like, oh, don't tell me that. He just started laughing. He goes, I got it. So later that afternoon, I went back over and I said, uh, can we let Jennifer drive it? Because I knew she had a break in her time. So I pulled up at her shop and this is her test drive. Oh, yeah, take off. while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she likes it. Nah. Not at all. Um, you can go anywhere you want. You can take a right or left. Just go wherever you want to I go. I told right. him we were going to Huntsville and back today, so. Yeah, I'm just going to cancel the rest of my day. And... Test driving the Lexus. I don't know. Uh, she doesn't like it. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry, Terry. <laughs> I know it. Sorry about, sorry about your luck here. Yeah. Oh, it's my pretty gosh. pretty sweet, though. It is so nice. It's so pretty. It is. It's, they did a really good job on it. Well, at this point, of course, I knew I was hooked. So we go back to the dealership, and Terry goes, all right, let's do some paperwork. Now, I'd bought a couple cars from Toyota before, and I'd already gotten a message from their financing. If you want to finance part of it, you know, we'll give you a really good interest rate. So I got like 1.5, 1.9, somewhere around there, uh, and I put quite a bit of money down on it, cash, which was awesome. He did the paperwork. So I'm in the car dealership getting all the paperwork done. How fun is that? They've actually been pretty good, though. He's like, you want the warranty? No. You want this? No. No, 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 no. So, I've been pretty happy with it. But then I had to go, dun, 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 to the finance office. I will say this. Karen was absolutely a pleasure to deal with. It was like the first experience I've ever had with a finance manager that was awesome. She's like, you want the warranty, extended warranty on it? I'm like, no. And she goes, okay, well, you know. I told her about the Prius that we had such low miles. She didn't put me miles on it. It's a Lexus, right? And she's like, yeah, okay, I get that. No problem. No problem at all. That was it. We talked about other stuff, but not about the car itself. She goes, do you want this uh, lifetime warranty buffing and waxing? I go, no, I can do that kind of thing. She goes, oh, okay, no problem at all. That was it. She goes, okay, here's your figure. This is what Terry told you. This is exactly what it'll be. Uh, sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. And let me print it out, print it out. Came up front. He gave me the keys, drove the freaking thing home. Unbelievable experience. Lexus at Ghoul Springs was fan freaking tasket. Charlie, the one of the managers, came over and thanked me and said, you know, anything we can do for you. Um, Terry was very pre You know, it just was a great experience. Unlike many car dealers that I bought cars from, where you just feel out, where you walk out feeling dirty. I just bought a Ram Promaster and I walked out of there going, Ugh, this is awful. Let me get out of here. They were actually great. Uh, you want some coffee and a cookie? They cook. They do fresh baked cookies up front. <laughs>
So that's all I have to say about this. Uh, let's take a little test drive and then I'll wrap up this video. But all I can say is Cool Springs uh, Lexus dealer was unbelievable in their customer service. No pressure sales, knowledgeable about the product. Uh, it was just a really, really great experience. And I can tell you from personal experience, from doing work here for many years, that they take care of their customers. That Toyota and Lexus here in Cool Springs, if you have a problem, they'll go out of their way to make sure it's taken care of and, and go the extra mile. So I have nothing but good things to say about them. So this is her in the redneck driveway. Jennifer calls her Maggie now, and it is a beautiful car. We got the pearl white with the brown interior. I'm gonna have to black out that uh, license plate. Why do people do that? I don't understand. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the, a license plate number? There's my other one if you need to get it. Let's take it on a test drive. All right, so this is the interior. I'll move the seat back because she is the only one that's driven it. It's kind of like sitting in a spaceship compared to the Prius for sure. When I hit the button, of course, it'll power everything up. It's a hybrid. So you, a lot of times you don't hear the motor start unless it's really cold outside or, um, <clears throat> here we go, push start. Awesome. We got a car payment to make. We got a car payment to make. Yeah, we're getting rid of our change. We're going up to sketchy Kroger. What do you think of your car, baby? I love it. Huh? But not as much as I love it. Yeah, see I got some points for this thing because it's a hybrid you can see that it's showing that it's just running off the battery right now There's no engine running or anything like that This is the regular speedometer and then you can switch it over there goes the motor you'll see it come on Because we got the heat going and it's cold outside. It's charging the battery up um, It's got automatic wipers automatic headlights automatic seat heater automatic Climate controls this is super cool um, all these buttons on the steering wheel, I think I know what most of them do. It's got radar um, with steering assist. So if you start getting out of your lane, it'll start pulling across. The steering wheel is actually warm. Uh, it's got a bunch of dang buttons, that's for sure. It's got a sport mode. You can switch back and forth. That's sport mode. You can see the tachometer. And what it does is it tightens up the steering and gives you more responsive acceleration. We can go back to Echo. The backup camera is freaking awesome. You can kind of see that's where you're going to go. If you keep going and the blue line is where you're at and the red line is DANGER! It's really super quiet. You can kind of see the Echo and the power band depending on what kind of performance you want. But this thing will actually scoot. It's all-wheel drive. The hybrids are all-wheel and the gas models, the 200s, are not. And that's one of the biggest differences. And for two or three grand more, why wouldn't you get the hybrid? But it's very quiet. It drives like a dream. Let me tell you. It's freaking awesome. You can see the radar up there on the screen. <clears throat> it sees, sees a stop sign, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. Now, if you watch all the reviews on the car, they're actually kind of true. The touchpad thing is not my favorite. I think it's a little bit janky. Um, the integration with Android is poor. It does do Apple CarPlay, but we have Android phones. But um, the radio is really, really good. And it's got Cirrus XM on it and everything. But I can't play that because then it'll be... I'm trying to tell her. It'll be copyright protected on YouTube. Um, and it's got a touchpad here that you move back and forth. And then you got radio controls here, volume, media, no. So that's okay, but you can go through navigation. To get the full screen on nav, though, you have to plug it into a USB rather than just go hook up Bluetooth. It's got an SOS button here. If something happens, we can press that and it'll send the police. If you airbags deploy, then it actually will send the police without uh, letting you know anything. It'll just send them. It'll give you directions. And it will get about 40 miles to the gallon. I don't think Jennifer's ever seen I mean, 40 miles a gallon, but that's okay because she likes putting it on sport mode and going fast. <laughs> but all in all, man, this is a bad song gun, and she loves it. Do you love it? She does But love not it. as much as I love you. Yeah, I know. You said that. Now, I know I joke about 
um, getting the car and everything. But my wife actually did deserve the car. For seven years, she drove a Prius. She loved it. She never complained, you know, and she had no idea I was getting this car for her. I just came in one day and said, hey, why don't we think about getting you a new car? Because I love her so much. So this thing is really a pleasure to drive. For the lowest priced Lexus, it is a sweet little ride. And you can see also that it's got all kinds of collision avoidance. When I get too close, it's gonna tell me. It's got the side mirrors. Okay, okay, hang on. It's got the side mirrors that tell you if there's somebody in your blind spot. It has the uh, sunroof, the SOS signal. Um, it is a bad little ride. All right, that's about it for today. I got some more videos about trying to finish the Prius. Of course, you can tell it's been raining and super cold, so I haven't been able to work on it, but soon that's coming up. I'm gonna detail the inside of it. Uh, got a Versa that I'm gonna show you that an employee's been driving for five years and what your car looks like from new to when you get it back. Uh, that was that was really fun. And uh, got some Jeep videos coming up. As soon as it gets warm enough to get her out, I gotta get some cars out of my driveway. Huh, Lord have mercy. Thanks for being a subscriber. Appreciate you watching. We've got some more videos coming up. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Key! Turn it wrenches.